sake. Hello everybody, this is me Sam here with Rube Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to install Bucket. Um, just generally install plugins on Bucket, install permissions plugin, setting it up, all that sort of jazz. Right, first of all we're going to create a folder, new folder, I'm just going to call it MC Server, it can be anywhere you like. So we've created that, now let's open our favourite internet browsing program which uh, is Firefox just to let you know and uh, we're gonna go to bucket uh, which just kind of skipped I'll give you this link in the <coughs> description but uh, it shows you the latest bucket builds that's that's the mod bucket you want craft bucket so we're gonna go to uh, 339 let's just hope this works it's probably best to go for the most standard version rather than the latest but it's up to you so we're going to download that and I'm just going to open it uh, and then I'm going to drag the jar into the R and voila now we've got that up we need to click right click new text file and we're going to call it server start not that and then because I'm lazy uh, we're gonna literally just yoink it from here so this is what you need to type in you need to type in uh, java x ms 1024 now this is the minimum um, RAM usage and MXS1024 is the maximum um, RAM usage. You can change it for how um, your server will run depending on the specs of your computer. And I could add more to that, but just for the purposes of this tutorial, I won't need it. And then your jar file, I'm just going to call it what it is because it just saves me renaming the file every time I download a new one but you can do it however you see fit I'm going to save that and now you just want to run it maybe run in a admin depending if you're running on Vista and it will just create the, the world with the general spawn area and voila and it will create any missing files. I want to close that and type in stop and all your files are created. So we're just going to server properties. Now level name of the world is what your world is called so I can call it world X and then put world here. Hell world it just disables uh, if it's a hell world or not. Uh, Spawn monsters online mode uh, if it's false then it will disable the authentication, the auth server, and thus so hackers can get on easily. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but saying mc.net is down, maybe you might want to put it as false. Max player server IP, I would recommend leaving this blank, um, it's just easier, it automatically resets it. Uh, PvP is true. Now, server port is important 25565. You need to open that on your router. Um, I'll give a link to uh, port forward which will tell you how to do it depending on your server uh, you got yeah whatever server router and say you don't have to have 25565 you can type in 100 and it will use that port but you must have that port open so I haven't changed anything so I'm going to start it up again so I'm going to go on Minecraft and the way you log in is just type in localhost on your machine of course and say you're using a different port you just type in uh, colon and then the port number and you should be able to log in and as you can see on the log I've logged in and into a pool of water with floating sand and I can't destroy anything because this is a spawn zone so that's that's the basics really done now I'm going to show you how to do install plugins 
so it's not uh, that is just a standard error when people close it from the Minecraft. That's nothing to worry about. So I'm gonna open up this and I'm gonna go to bucket the orb. And first of all I'm gonna choose permissions plugin to say permissions. It's never for the first result. Yes it is the first result. So yep, it is the first result. I lied. And you just want to download this, save the file. And as you see I've downloaded it so many times that it's done before. So I need to drag it into the plugins folder. Close that. And there we are. We have the permissions.jar. Now this will run when the server starts up. Any jars in this folder, even if they're not plug in or not, will just run. So make sure they're plugins. And this is the config that you're worried about. So at the moment, this is a permission file. And basically, it has uh, just commands for everything. So to add someone <coughs> to it, you get rid of this, you type in make sure the spaces are important so Samkyo I'm going to add myself to the mods group and then that's because and now I'm added to the mod group and then when that loads up I should be a mod now there's only not really a way to test this except for these commands but I now have these commands enabled uh, depending on what uh, general plugin I'm using and um, default members will go into the default group and this is called the general spawn and they can just use slash spawn moderations use uh, time teleport whatever and then we can use every command because I have a star and you can add other groups just copy and paste one and well of course with all the right formatting and set it to default always to false and then you want to inherit the one before or the one that it comes after and this will inherit all the, co the commands for the one I'm about for instance moderator will inherit all of defaults commands okay so I'm going to save and start the server up again See, so, now permissions version 2.0 has been enabled. So that's all. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, just to add more plugins, just drag them into the plugin directory. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.